So, ChatGPT can exploit local file inclusion vulnerabilities now? Yes, with the correct prompts, we can not only exploit local file inclusion vulnerabilities, but also solve CTF challenges in general. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. To demonstrate this, we will solve one of the latest CTF challenges on TryHackMe, namely LoFi. This video is for educational purposes only. Do not break the law and stay legal. Local file inclusion is a type of vulnerability that allows an attacker to include files on a server through the web interface. This vulnerability occurs when a web application dynamically includes external files or scripts without properly sanitizing the input. This allows an attacker to manipulate the input to include files or scripts that they shouldn't be able to access. Local file inclusion often leverages a technique known as path traversal to exploit vulnerabilities in web applications. Path traversal or directory traversal involves manipulating variables that reference files with dot dot slash sequences or similar methods to access files or directories that are stored outside the intended directories. By repeatedly using these sequences, an attacker can navigate the file system to reach directories that contain sensitive files. For example, this path used in a file inclusion URL parameter might allow the attacker to access the Unix passvd file, which contains user account information. A challenge where we can learn how to perform a local file inclusion vulnerability by using path traversal is LoFi on TryHackMe. LoFi in this case stands for local file inclusion and not low fidelity music. Fun fact, while I was solving this challenge without AI, I listened to some lo-fi music. Speaking of AI, we now use ChatGPT to solve the lo-fi challenge on TryHackMe. First of all, I scanned the system with ShellGPT to find potential weak spots. As you can see, ports 2020 and 80 are open. So I navigated to the website and found this. Clicking the links on the right side to include new content changes the URL. A new parameter named page is added. I made a screenshot of the presented page and asked ChatGPT how to find the flag. I'm solving a try hack me challenge. It's about local file inclusion. I have to find the flag. This is the website I have found after using Nmap. How to find the flag. After a few seconds, ChatGPT answered me. To find the flag in a local file inclusion vulnerability challenge, you'll need to explore paths where the web server might be including files directly from the file system based on user input. Here is how you can proceed. Test for local file inclusion. Try to access common system files by manipulating the URL. For instance, you might alter the parameter to include files like slash etsy slash passvd. In your case, the URL ends with page equals sleep.php. Try replacing sleep.php by other files such as this. Well, let's copy the path traversal URL ChatGPT suggested and paste it into the URL bar. And bam, it works. So ChatGPT successfully found a way to exploit the local file inclusion vulnerability. It also tells me how to find the flag contained in the file flag.txt. Since you need to find flag.txt, think about common directories where this file could be stored or try to guess based on the server structure. Use typical Linux directory paths to navigate. These are example URLs. I copy the first URL and paste it into the URL bar. Double bam! We just found the flag. Easy, isn't it? So, ChatGPT and other AI systems nowadays are able to solve hacking challenges. And now it's your turn. How can you prevent local file inclusion attacks? Write your or the AI's ideas in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.